one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. Imagine this cake as total amount of matter in the universe. Only 15% of the total matter is normal matter. Normal matter means galaxies, stars, planets, people, and everything that is made out of quarks and leptons. 85% of total matter is invisible matter called dark matter. Nobody knows what dark matter is made of. Dark matter doesn't interact with light and normal matter. That means dark matter doesn't reflect light, dark matter doesn't emit light, and dark matter doesn't absorb light. This is why it is hard to detect dark matter. There are eight known planets in our solar system. All of the planets orbit around the sun because of gravitational pull of the sun on the planets. Using a ball and a string, we can demonstrate how planets orbit the sun. Among all the planets, Mercury is the closest to the sun. So Mercury will feel more gravitational pull on it. That's why it goes fast around the sun. Venus is a little farther than Mercury, so it will feel a little less gravitational pull on it. That's why it goes slow, a little slowly around the sun than Mercury. As you go along the planets, Neptune is the farthest from the sun, so it will feel less gravitational pull on it. That's why it goes very slowly around the sun. Imagine this as galaxy. All these candies are stars. And this is super massive black hole in the center of the galaxy. In the 1970s, Vera Rubin and other scientists figured out that it doesn't matter how close or how far the stars are from the center of the galaxy. They all go the same speed around the center of the galaxy. In the speed versus distance graph, scientists expected this kind of curved line. It, that is similar to the solar system. That means the stars that are closer to the center will go fast, and the stars that are farther from the center will go slow. But when scientists did experiments, scientists found out that the, it doesn't matter where the stars are, in the middle or far away from the center, they all go almost the same speed. There is not enough mass in the center of the galaxy to hold all these fast moving stars. So scientists think that there is a lot of invisible matter that is giving these stars extra gravitational effect and holding them in their orbit so they won't fly away. Scientists think that every galaxy is in a huge blob of dark matter that is about 10 times more massive than a galaxy. Scientists are searching for dark matter in three places. Deep underground, on the Earth's surface, and deep in space. Deep underground dark matter experiment, scientists are using a special liquid or special material. Dark matter rarely interacts with normal matter, but when dark matter hits atom of special liquid, atom will emit light, and this is how scientists will find dark matter directly. At LHC, scientists are colliding high energy protons to make dark matter particles. Dark matter interacts with the rest of the universe through gravity. So there would be a lot of dark matter around supermassive black hole because of its intense gravity. Around supermassive black hole, they are fast moving dark matter particles. When two fast moving dark matter particles collide, they convert into energy that is known as gamma rays. 
Scientists are trying to detect gamma rays with a special telescope known as Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. Dark matter is yummy. Dark matter is very, very yummy. <laughs>